But if we're coming home here, two Ghanaian players have been in the transfer market. It's important for me to point out that uh, David Akam has also joined Helsinki, mm -hmm. I believe. AJK Helsinki, yeah. Finnish Giants uh, there. But the ones that have really caught the attention of people, first one is Kofitre to Freiburg. So he played in the Bundesliga 2 last season um, for St. Pauli. Had a really good campaign uh, there. They didn't qualify to the Bundesliga, unfortunately. But it seemed in the Bundesliga has come calling and he's joined them. Dana, let me begin with you. This is great for him, Kofitre, because we um, finally, and I'm just going to say this, <laughs> finally we can stop hearing from coach Nimli about <laughs> which tier of competition he plays he plays in the top tier so let me start. of German <laughs> let me I said Daniel will start okay. he plays in the top tier of German football he's let now, that be known he's now being bought to go and play in the top tier he hasn't even kicked the ball in the top tier yet <laughs> Let's put the record. And no, we have to be factual on these things. We, we have to be very factual on these things. And that is what I stand for. I know. I am so happy for the young man. Yes. Look, believe you me. Okay, I've always said. You can start. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I've always said. <laughs> <laughs> you see? You see? I've always said that. Yes. When it comes to the black stars, we should only pay attention to those playing in the top tier. Okay. If I'm the coach, I call no player in the fourth, third, <laughs> second tier of any league. No player. Because at the end of the day, the competition at that level, mm -hmm. the standard there will require that the player should be playing at a certain standard or at a certain level. Okay. And I'm happy for Kofi Chere. But again, we want to say a big thank you to those guys managing them. Because again, yeah. this is a perfect situation where the Black Stars has been used. As a what ground to get our players go to the top. The this Blasters, has always been. Th this was the norm, I think, a few years ago. The national team was always a big propelling factor yeah. for yes. a lot of players. Yes, um, we haven't seen that in in a few years. Yeah. But like you rightly said, clearly, nobody can tell you that Kofi Red's appearance in the Blasters as well hasn't contributed. It's contributed. It's a full international immensely. Right? Yeah, because if a team and in the Bundesliga would have had a bit more course. money. Simply because it's a full international. It is what it is. So yeah. for me, I'm happy. But I have to wait and throw the challenge to the young man that he should ensure that he's not going there to warm the bench. Yeah. He needs to stake a claim. He needs to give the coaches at Freiburg genuine reasons why he has to be in the team. He's got the quality to be in that team. He's got the quality to be in that team. And I think secondly, he needs to quickly adapt because that is the top most what league. It is difficult when you are stepping up than when you are coming down. So I believe that Kofichre, mm -hmm. with all his technical ability, his passing ability, I think one thing that I'll be looking forward to in improving his game is the pace at which he plays. I have never been the pleased. Thing is too yeah, slow. I think he's too slow. Because he was second top scorer in the team. Mm -hmm. Created the second most goals, mm -hmm. created the most chances in his team last mm -hmm. season at St. Pauli. So clearly, mm -hmm. the pace didn't seem to have to be a problem. The in pace at that too. level, at Bonas Liga too. <laughs> I am looking at the pace of the World Cup, which is even more faster okay. than the Bundesliga itself. So you're so, just saying that he can adapt. Yeah, he has to quickly because there's no time to waste. All right. We don't have time. Is not on his side. Yes. In 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 how many four five months? Yeah. We are in Qatar. Agreed. Agreed. Yes. Uh, Daniel, quick thoughts on Kofitre. Um, his move to Freiburg. Obviously, this is a massive upgrade for him. And like Coach said, I think the most important thing is to get playing time. Yeah, it is. Um, because Freiburg is in the Europa League. They did very well last yeah. season. I think they finished fifth in the, yeah, in the um, league, Bundesliga. The um, stake the claim. They could have made the Champions League. Unfortunately for them, they didn't. So, um, the standard is there. And yeah. he has to, to, to live up to it. But... Um, for them to put this much faith in him, for them to pay, um, I think, 8 million euros for, for Freiburg is money. If you are looking at their level, it's quite an amount it's of money. Of money yeah, it's yeah. a lot of money. So it, it, it can show you that they, they really value him as a player. They know his strengths. They know that he can come in and help them. And he has to do his part. Once they've shown that faith in him, he has to go in and do his part. But 
when you talk about the style of play in the Bundesliga 2 and the Bundesliga, it's, it's not, there's not much disparity. It's, it's very similar. Yes, the teams in Bundesliga are much better, but the style and the culture is almost the same thing. Mm. If you look at the quality of teams in the Bundesliga 2, we had, a, I think there was Hamburg, there was Werder Bremen, a couple of these notable yeah. teams were in there. So um, it has some uh, level of... of, of, of um, credibility. Credibility. Yeah. And um, I always say that you have to put things into context when you are judging these things. You can look at the English second tier and it's better than the Danish league. Top tier. So, um, yes, one may be top, one may be second tier. But in terms of the standards, mm -hmm. um, the name second tier doesn't necessarily mean it's lower than, than, than the other. But look, it's, it's up to him. He's, he's been brilliant in the last two seasons, not just last season. Yeah. He's done double figures in goals, double figures in assists. And he's played a number of different positions. And I think that is what will help him. We've seen him in the Black Stars playing a deep role. We've seen him at um, St. Pauli last season. He played as a number 10 a creator. He played as a second striker. So he can do a number of things. And that is what a team like Freiburg needs. Options when you are going into Europe. You need players that you can count on to play a number of different yeah. roles and come in and help um, as and when you need them. Agreed. 100%. So it's, it's extremely crucial, as the boy said. You cannot just be uh, already. What is clear is that he hasn't locked down a starting position in the Black Stars team. And if he's to go to the World Cup, getting playing time and scoring goals would be extremely crucial because the Black Stars may have helped him to get to the Bundesliga, to join the Bundesliga team that's playing in the Europa League. But that move could also be ill-fated if he ends up not playing and then missing out on the World Cup. So it's a double-edged sword. Now it's important for him to stay fit and get playing time. That's what we're all praying for. That's what we all hope for. So all the best to Kofi Shre. His, his talent, obviously not in doubt. Uh, it's just time now for him to go out there and prove it at the Bundesliga level.